It's Saturday, September 3rd, 2011, and I completely look like crap. <laughs> um, I had surgery yesterday at 12 p.m. Um, for my foot. It was a Taylor's bunion and a regular bunion, I guess, on my left foot. Um, this is my second surgery, um, second foot surgery, and it definitely did not go as well as my first surgery um, on my other foot, and that, that was because I fell, and that was a whole different story from this one. Basically, it was the same thing. Um, Surgery wise, you know, they put me under local anesthesia. It wasn't general, you know, it was just me going to sleep. Um, it wasn't like my whole body was numb or whatever. I was just asleep, very much asleep. And um, injection of the foot with anesthesia. So I wouldn't feel anything. So the first time I had this, I had foot surgery. Um, it went by so well that, I mean, I didn't feel the pain until probably four to, four to six hours after I had already gotten home. So probably about, um, I want to say eight hours, um, post-op, um, no nausea except when I ate because um, I had hydrocodone, the same one that I had after lap band, um, the liquid kind. And that made me, if I would eat, I, I followed my regular um, eating, my, my regular diet afterwards, but I didn't know that it would make me as nauseous. But I wasn't it wasn't that bad. It was just, you know, I would be nauseous for an hour and then go away. I wouldn't heat, dry heave. I wouldn't actually throw up. It was just the feeling of throwing up. Um, so I was very confident that this surgery was going to go well. Um, so I went in at 10 a.m. to surgery and, well, to the surgery surgery center for my foot my the sports center whatever it's called um and right when you know it went whatever I had a different anesthesiologist this time it wasn't the one that had done it the first time um and I mean he was nice whatever it wasn't like the weirdo I had for the lap band he was weird um anyway um so, you know, the, I go in, have surgery, I come out of surgery, they, I, I feel myself waking up because, <laughs> because I was, I think I heard myself snoring and that's why I kind of woke up. But then, you know, I was woken up by the nurse and, um, I was kind of like not happy that I didn't have the nurses from last time. The nurses from, that I had last time were awesome in but they were assigned to different patients this time last time I was there I was the only one at the surgery center but this time there's a lot of people it was a person that had a loose screw from their foot another person that had a tumor on their foot and it was it was a lot of people there um, the nurse that scheduled me that day to, told me that the my doctor was gonna be busy um, but that he could squeeze me in, and that's why I decided to take that day. Um, and especially because somebody was going to be here to take care of me for three days. Because, I mean, I can go from here to the bathroom. And usually when I go from here to the bathroom, I usually plan it out so I can go from here to the bathroom, to the living room, to sit down, you know, to talk to my family, to watch TV, because I don't have a television in my room. I mean, I do, but I don't turn it on. I don't know. Anyway, um, what was I going with this? Okay, so I wake up, 
the nurse wakes me up, and it's this very young nurse. I'm not, you know, saying that she didn't have enough experience, but maybe I am. But whatever. So, she wakes me up, and apparently they don't communicate with each other because I made it very, like, I was telling every person that spoke to me um, before surgery, I have the lap band. Um... Because they asked me, oh, you know, have you had a surgery before? Yes, I had the lap band. I had the lap band. I had the lap band. I mean, I wasn't any more clearer than that. So then I wake up and, I mean, I'm confused. You know, I'm dazed. And I'm confused. I mean, I just came out of anesthesia. So it's not like I'm in my all six senses, five senses, whatever you want to call it. I'm not there. Um, so the nurse goes... Would you like um, Cheez-Its or chips or pretzels? And all I can think is pick the healthiest one and go with it. So I pick pretzels and so she brings me water and she shoves it in, not shoves it, but she puts it in my face and she's like, drink. And it's in the straw. Ding, ding, ding. Hello, Cindy. You're not supposed to drink out of a straw. Um, then she gives me the pretzels. She opens it for me and gives it to me. And I eat one. I eat another one. Nauseous. Nauseous, nauseous, nauseous. I, um, and then pain for my foot. Pain, pain, pain. <laughs> and... I'm like, oh my god, because um, the the day before I had seen um, Jamie's video, Lap Band Chica, that she was talking about the anti-nausea medication, the Zofran, or whatever it's called. And I'm thinking, oh my god, um, I'm going to throw up. I'm going to have band slippage. I'm going to throw up. And... Um, my mom was already there with me and my brother goes, stop drinking from that. It has a straw and then it clicks to me. I'm drinking from a straw and, um, and then I go into panic mode and my mom was telling me, you turned white as a sheet because I'm serious. I was, I was pretty, you know freaked out, scared, and I was, I was like, uh, you know, that uh, feeling and, or noise or, you know, automatic, uh, you know, I was like, and then the nurse was like, oh, here, you know, have this, and I was like, I have the lap band, I cannot throw up, and I was like, nearly yelling at the poor girl, and, um, she's like, She's like, she doesn't know what to do. And, like, she ends up looking, like, frightened. And then she's like, let me call the doctor. Let me talk to the doctor. And my doctor was in lunch at the time because I was the last one to, you know, get a surgery. And it was, like, 12-ish or something. Almost one or two. Whatever the time was. So, she's, the nurse goes, you know, should, should I get you some Zofran? Should I get her some Zofran? And I was like, um, anything would help right now. I don't want to throw up. I'm scared. I don't want to throw up. And, um, she, she, you know, gives it to me and it doesn't really help. And I'm freaking out and still freaking out. I'm not like showing that I'm freaking out, but I was pretty mortified um and then the the um she gives me pain medicine also because I was feeling pain um so I think the pain medicine added to the nauseousness um that I was feeling and so I am I mean in my head I'm freaking out right so the doctor comes over and he's like you know, what I could do is put a stent or catheter, I don't know what the hell he said, in your foot 
so it will be completely numb for two days and you will not have to take pain medicine but the only thing is that you're not going to be able to walk and right now I mean I don't really walk um, I just like I said I just take a couple of steps here to there and good thing my house is kind of small um, so yeah and I was like no I don't want to do that and I really thought that the nauseous feeling was going to go away and on the way home um, well they also prescribed to me a depository to take along with my pain medicine so that I wouldn't feel nauseous but on the way home I was thinking um, I'm not going to be able to keep anything down let's stop at the vitamin shop and you know get some clear protein I got some isopure three of them and I was like I at least want to get some protein in um, if I can't get any food in so that's what I did and even with that I was feeling so sick and but there was no dry heaving there was no uh, thing but I was so scared like you can't imagine how scared I was and I think that if I wouldn't have watched um, Jamie's video I probably wouldn't have thought of it, but I, I am glad that, you know, I did see that video and I, you know, did freak out because what if um, I would have left the hospital thinking, you know, oh, this is just, you know, it's going to be all right. No, it's not. I need, you need to, I needed to take action. I needed to say, you know, exclaim that I have the lap band and it's different circumstance you know, it's not just a regular person getting a foot surgery, it's a, it's a lap band patient getting a foot surgery. Um, so right now, I haven't tried the depository because in the morning, um, I was fine. Um, but right now, I'm kind of feeling it again. And, but I don't know where the those depositories at or at and I don't want to walk around the house but I think that if I go to sleep I'll be fine I think I'll be fine but um that was pretty scary it was a pretty scary experience um and he was telling me that because he, he scared me even more because he said if something happens to you this weekend we're gonna have to put you back in the hospital um and have you like um, hooked up to an IV and I it was uh he shouldn't have said that because I was scared <laughs> you know um, I, I do appreciate my lab band and I want my lab band to stay in there um, it has done so much for me and um, to have slippage is like my biggest fear in life you know <laughs> or erosion anything like that would be scary um i wouldn't have lost 54 pounds if it wasn't for my lap band